to the world of colors. I'm Colors. This morning I wanted to tell you about a new idea I had about making a gnome using a garden glove. And I got these gloves at the Dollar Tree. I thought they were really pretty and would they make a cute little gnome. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. And I wanted to show you how he, he turns out like this. A really cute little gnome. And also I'm going to be telling you if you want to, you can go ahead and put him on a base like this. And he turns out real cute. A little centerpiece maybe. So I'll be telling you about how to do that. But we'll be making the gnome this morning in just a few minutes. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm not going to give you a materials list uh, to start the video today. I'm just going to tell you about it as we go. It takes very few supplies to make him. And then I'll tell you about how to put him on a base uh, after I get finished making the gnome. So it's what you want to do is take out your garden glove and then take that middle finger right here and divide the glove up this way. And you want to take and put the finger inside the glove. Just pull it right inside. Might take you a minute to get that inside there, like that. You don't need to cut it off. You just need to pull it in the, get it inside here like that and then go ahead then you have you'll have the the legs and the arms left and once you get that inside there you can go ahead and glue it like that and i'll let that set up So what you want to do now is go ahead and take some poly pellets or some rice. Now I haven't tried it with rice, but I feel like rice would work just as well as the poly pellets. And you want to go ahead and fill it up. I'm filling it up to just the top right here. Before we start the wrist part, I'm going to fill it up to there. And then we want to go ahead and put a rubber band around that top. Like that. It takes two gloves to make the gnome. So you put the rubber band around the top and then you, you want to put your jute, your one ply jute, tie that around there. And then you can shorten the stub here by, by about half, like that. And then what we want to do is go ahead and glue the arms around to the front, like that. Like that, get them glued to the legs. And we'll let that set up. What you want to do now that you have the, the arms glued to the legs is to take a six inch skewer like this, looks like this, and just put it through the chest all the way down to the bottom in the middle, middle of the back, like that. And then is what we're going to do is take a, 
knob, you can use a round one or one that's shaped like this and glue that right on the bottom of the skewer. Just glue that in like that and then bring it up to the body like that and that'll stand them up. And then once you do that, you can break this off. I'll use my wire cutters here. Help me out a little bit. And break this right off so it's short. And it'll be hidden right underneath the beard. There that goes. So you got that done. And that's setting up. And I'll put a little glue on the front here. Hold that in place a little bit. And then is what you want to do is take a round, this is about an inch and a half knob, and put it right on the front here for the nose. I've already got it painted. It was natural. I've got it painted in Sunflower by Tester's Craft Paints. You want to put that on there and let that set up. Then you want to go ahead, now that you have the nose set up on there, and take your two and a half by two and a half piece of green fur and fold that right in half. Put a slit in the top, about maybe an inch, like that. And then bring it up around the nose. And then glue that down at the top here. Get that glued on there. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead and take the other glove and cut right below the wrist. This is the part that's going to be the top of the hat. You want a little bit below the wrist there, like that. So it'll be about this big. I'm going to turn it inside out. Gather it together. Like that. And then put your rubber band around it. And then you want to tie it with your one ply jute. I'm going to cut this tag off. And then turn it right side out and go ahead and put some stuffing inside. Now I'll be right back with you to glue on the hat ready to glue on the hat. It's nice and stuffed. You want to make sure that the seams are on the sides and then just go ahead and kind of position it where you're going to glue it at. 
and you want to get your glue on there about in the middle and put your hat right there. I'm going to let that set up and then I'm going to glue the back and the two sides and I'll be right back with you. I've got the hat all glued on. This is how he's looking so far. Pretty cute little character. And is what we want to do now is put the butterflies on his hat. So I have a, these are little stickers, butterflies that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just thought they looked really cute. You can hear my dogs coming down the steps. That's what you're hearing in the background. I'll put the green one up here. Now you can embellish some more by putting some glitter berries from the Dollar Tree. They come in a stem like this and have them hanging on to them right here. And you can put a frog on this side. This is how I did this one here. But you may like to just leave them like this. So the frogs come from the children's, the baby section at the Dollar Tree. I stock up on those. I use those for toads at Halloween time. So the other thing I wanted to tell you about, now that we've got the little gnome done, I wanted to, to ask you if you like the name Glover or Handy for him. In the comments, could you leave your vote on what you like Glover there goes my puppies Glover or Handy because we can't decide what name to give them and so it would help if you would let us know what name you like the other thing I wanted to tell you about is if you want to you can go ahead and put them on a base you can buy this base like this at Dollar Tree and paint it up in that sunflower paint and put the different things, put them right in the middle and put the pot of flower and the, the, the potted flower and the frog and the berries. This is how it looks in the back. And do it like that. I'm using E6000 glue on all this stuff. And the pot of with the flower in it, you just want to use your poly pellets and some glue and acrylic paint and mix that up inside there and stick your flower in there and let it dry overnight. And you can make this like this, maybe a centerpiece or a piece for anywhere in your house. So that, I just wanted to give you that idea. And if you like this video, make sure to like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.